Recently, the largest aviation event of the year called Air Show China 2024 concluded in Zhuhai, China. Held every two years since 1996, this event serves as a key platform for showcasing achievements in aviation, aerospace, and defense technologies. The exhibition highlighted cutting-edge innovations, including stealth fighters, unmanned aerial vehicles, missile defense systems, and more. This year, the event attracted a record number of participants from various countries, underscoring China's growing role on the global high-tech stage. One of the highlights of the air show was the international debut of the Russian fifth-generation Su-57 fighter jet. It participated in the flight program, performing advanced aerobatic maneuvers. In this video, we have compiled all the most fascinating exhibits from the event, exploring how far China's aviation industry has progressed. Airshow China is the first international aerospace exhibition in China, with its origins dating back to the mid-1990s. Organized by the China Aerospace Corporation with support from the Chinese government, the event was initially conceived as a showcase of China's defense industry achievements. Over time, it has evolved into a global platform for collaboration among international companies, scientists, and experts. In 2024, the exhibition attracted over 700 participants from more than 40 countries, presenting the latest advancements in aviation and space technology. This year, the centerpiece of the exhibition was the new Chinese stealth fighter J-35A, positioned as China's answer to the American F-35. This medium-sized multi-role aircraft, featuring stealth technology, is equipped with advanced weapon systems and offers extended operational range. The primary role of the J-35A is deployment on the aircraft carriers of the People's Liberation Army Navy. The J-35A highlights China's growing ambitions in developing its own fifth-generation technologies, marking a shift from copying foreign designs to independent innovation. The exhibition also showcased a unique concept of a sixth-generation Chinese fighter jet. Unlike earlier models, this aircraft features a futuristic tailless design, significantly enhancing maneuverability and stealth capabilities. The concept incorporates artificial intelligence, hypersonic capabilities, and cutting-edge radar suppression technologies. China's aspiration to surpass the U.S. in such developments makes this presentation particularly significant. China further demonstrated its latest achievements in unmanned aerial technologies. Highlights included strike reconnaissance drones capable of long-range missions. Special attention was drawn to drones capable of carrying over two tons of payload, including missiles and electronic warfare equipment. These advancements underscore China's strategic focus on the automation of airspace operations. Another key exhibit was the Xi'an H-6, a strategic bomber derived from the Soviet Tu-16. Despite the age of the base model, the H-6 continues to be modernized and remains central to strategic missions. At the exhibition, it was presented in a new variant equipped with advanced long-range missiles. Airshow China 2024 also marked the debut of the new Hongqi-19 surface-to-air missile system. Designed to counter medium-range ballistic missiles, it serves as a cornerstone of China's missile defense program. The exhibition also featured a strong international presence, including major defense industry players from Russia. Russia showcased more than 50 exhibits, including the fifth-generation Su-57 fighter jet. This aircraft attracted significant interest from Chinese experts and the public, as it was presented internationally for the first time outside Russia. The Su-57 demonstrated unique maneuverability in flight displays, while its static exhibition provided an opportunity to explore its design details. For the first time this year, the People's Liberation Army Navy Marine Corps participated in China's airshow. The development team showcased shipborne helicopters, Z-20J, and transport helicopters, Z-8C. These aircraft significantly enhanced the Marine Corps' capabilities in airborne operations. The military employed six shipborne helicopters and a Lynx high-mobility vehicle to maneuver and manage deployed forces and equipment, demonstrating readiness for combined rapid deployment operations.
For the first time in many years, Boeing was absent from the exhibition. The absence of this company at such an event is akin to a global auto show without Mercedes. The world's largest aerospace corporation is going through a rough patch, with one scandal following another. Endless accidents, engineering mistakes, and disastrous financial decisions made by quota-hired employees have led to catastrophic outcomes. Airlines worldwide have started rejecting Boeing aircraft, with losses amounting to billions. Unfortunately, the aviation giant currently has other priorities, but we hope the company will overcome its challenges and impress us at future air shows. One of the main highlights of the program was the demonstration flights. The flying program was rich and impressive, showcasing both Chinese and international aviation achievements. Each day featured around four hours of flights, allowing spectators to witness the virtuoso skills of pilots and the capabilities of modern aircraft. The Chinese Air Force presented a wide array of achievements, from the latest stealth fighters to strategic bombers. Special attention was drawn to the Bai Aerobatic Team, which traditionally opens such events. Elite pilots flying J-10 fighters performed intricate aerobatic maneuvers, including synchronized formations and solo elements such as the barrel roll, bell and loop. Their display highlighted the high level of training of Chinese pilots, combining agility with choreographic precision. The J-20 stealth fighter, one of the key symbols of China's aviation ambitions, also participated in the demonstration flights. Pilots showcased its ability to perform maneuvers at low speeds and high angles of attack, confirming its capabilities in critical flight regimes. Equally intriguing was the debut public flight of the new J-35A stealth fighter, designed for aircraft carrier operations. The H-6 strategic bomber, a modernized version of the Soviet 216, demonstrated its long-range strike capabilities. The flight showcased its ability to carry hypersonic missiles, underscoring the adaptation of older platforms to meet modern requirements. The flying program wasn't limited to Chinese aircraft. Participants from other countries also displayed their capabilities. The Russian aerobatic team Russian Knights performed with Su-30SM fighters, executing complex group and solo maneuvers. Highlights included elements like the Nesterov loop, flat spin, Pugachev's Cobra, and Mirror. Their performance was one of the most anticipated events of the show, attracting the attention of both professionals and general spectators. American participants demonstrated the capabilities of their drones, though one of the presentations was marred by a technical failure. During the flight, one of the drones malfunctioned, sparking discussions about its reliability. The flying program at Airshow China 2024 was a key part of the exhibition, highlighting not only China's technical advancements, but also the contributions of other nations to aviation development. Airshow China 2024 was a landmark event showcasing both China's achievements and the competitiveness of global players. The country placed a strong emphasis on demonstrating its autonomy in developing aviation and aerospace technologies, underscoring its ambitions to become a global leader in this field. The participation of foreign companies further strengthened international cooperation and technological exchange. This event not only solidified China's position on the global stage, but also highlighted key directions for the development of aviation and defense in the coming years.